So, this is really more of a thank you video, or thank you video, or observational video, or, okay, so, during the holidays, you know, Christmas, New Year, that whole thing, I was like, they were doing on YouTube, like, top matches of the year, you know, best, uh, top pay-per-view matches, best regular matches, basically, but, you know, they did two different segments of them. And, while I was, like, watching them, it was mostly during, I think, the, the pay-per-view matches more than anything. But, the whole time, I was just sitting there, and I was like, most of the matches were uh, a lot of the women's matches. I was like, fine, whatever. I was like, uh, I didn't mean that to sound like a certain type of way, but I was really just getting my thought that I'm like, singing Charlotte versus Rhea, hell of a match, great match. Then, you know, I was like, then also realizing that, okay, what Becky did with the NXT title during that whole, like month it felt like you know uh bailey you know in her match with bianca and also with her girl eo and then i was like uh and also you know thinking about i was like i'm like you know what shout out to those three because this year in particular they have really I felt like put over all the women they needed to to for the future, cause it's crazy to think of how long they've been like not in WWE, but like the main pillars of like WWE, especially on the women's side. And not that they can't wrestle for another five or ten. Although I was like, I with for instance. I don't know. I was like, I can see Bailey doing it. To be honest, I can see Bailey being around that long. I don't know if I can see Becky that long. Oh, and I was like, or Charlotte. It. I was like, it. I don't know. Something about something about them seemed like they they would have other interests. Where I feel like Bailey, like I can keep on doing it. Whereas like I feel like Charlotte will just become a, a, a an event and. I was like, I think Becky gonna do. I think Becky gonna do it way long. They're not. They're they're five years away from like that. But what I'm saying is that them propelling Bianca and Rhea first off is basically that next wave. And then I was like, EO with that is. I was like, even though EO just, I was like, had just got on the map compared to those two. They're really that next wave of women where it's like okay cool and I was like I it, they've done a really crazy good job and in a way cause I'm like it, you can't really compare them to the men's division as far as talent people at the top you know I was like like yes they yeah like yes them getting more matches and more storylines but you can the other women are just so much younger that, that like I was like like I've always said I was like they have the depth. They got Candice LeRae, they got Andy Hartwell, they have uh I was just trying to think of the young ones, Zoe Starks, they got Ivy Niles, I was like uh Maxine Dupree, I was like getting into the whole thing. Um you know, not to mention someone they go call up but like Tiffany Stratton and Cora Jade and Roxanne Perez, you know. So they they're going to have the depth there, but they're all going to be so young and new that it's going to be a minute until they start hitting. You know, I was like, it's not the women's event is not too bare to where it's like you're going to get where it's like boom, you're going to instantly be able to be like those are the women that you know, like they just they you know like how like Beth Phoenix she stands out amongst everybody. Uh, AJ Lee stood that month up by uh, Paige when she came in. You know, like, I was like, you know, I was like, when the four horse women came out, there wasn't really, you know, now there's enough depth to where it's like, okay, cool. Now we got to start figuring out, like, who's going to pop. And I was like, so you start to start seeing that this year with, like, Zoe Starks. You know, I'm like, I'm like, I, I don't, I don't think that she still got the, I was like, for a minute, she sort of did, but she ain't really got the crowd there yet. So that's still got to be a thing, but she has been, she was featured for a while that's like, oh, okay, cool, she's somebody. Uh, Becky Lynch, when she had the whole NXT title and was basically 
you know, like with Indy Hartwell coming up where it's like she was the champ, she just didn't get a chance to fight. You know, cool. I was like Zia Lee, which I was like, I don't know where she's been at lately, but I was like, I'm like, she has been a cool person to keep using as like almost like how they use Shinsuke Nakamura, that's how they should use Zia Lee. But I was like, but Bailey with all of them to control. I'm like, you know, basically EO's there, everybody loves EO. You know, it didn't take long, but yes, everybody loves EO. I was like, Dakota Kai been hurt for so long, but I think if Dakota Kai had a chance, I mean, I'm mean, like, if she, once she gets healed up, and we'll see, because I'm like, she might not be healed up until pretty much maybe the storyline's over, so that sort of sucks. But yeah, no, I think they have put a big emphasis on trying to get that next crop going. Not necessarily because they're leaving soon or they're too old and you know they only got so much left but i think it's be i think it's also because it's like not that they have so much left but they also only got so much left to where it's like they're at the top they need some other people in order for them to also to stay on top because remember how we also used to get tired of being like ah charlotte and becky once again Oh, uh, here we go, Sasha and Bailey. I meant Charlotte and Becky, my bad. But either way, it was just those four. And it was just like, it was like yes, at, at, at some point, they started running this court. So you're going to start needing more people. So that's why I'm saying, I'm like, we were starting to see that a little bit with Bianca. And, you know, but I think once she gets away from Denver, girl, she'll be fine. Um, she's been feuding with them, like, all year. Um, but I think... Rhea, now that she got into that next tier, she's still young, but she got to that next tier where she's having Ivy Nile. I was like, she had Maxine Dupree. So now she's over here and doing the, and now it's a whole trickle down effect. But I was like, I really just wanted to basically just give them their flowers while they're still here, while they're still putting on great matches. While they're still being the top people in the company in the women's division, basically of doing a lot, more. I was like doing something that's like, I was like that you don't have to do, you don't have to do it, but it's it's beneficial for all parties when you do do it. <laughs> but yeah, that's like and you know all you know also like how people used to all be talking with about Charlotte Flair and I'm like yeah but. She put on dope magic with a lot of people. I'm like, yes, he may win or she may come in and get the time. But I'm like, N now that person that we think is just like, where are they doing? They're in a prominent spot as well, too. So there's that. But also, I mean, give her her props because I was like, but like all the stuff that people say, I'm like, she ain't got to do none of that either. And she is. And yeah, I was like, it's, it's like I said, you can't compare them necessarily to the men's division because it's a totally different balance game of youngsters and cropping it up. So I was like, they got to build it up in order to have it where it's like they can have more matches on there because I'm like, yes. I was like, uh, like Tegan, and they also Tegan Knox, you know, building Tegan Knox up. You know, but I was like, yeah, because I was like, they could get more matches, but it's like if three of the four matches is kind of like who are these people? Oh, they're new people. Oh, okay, let's see what they do. But they're not behind them. I was like, no. Get them, get them going so that as that when they they have their moments, everybody's like, oh, okay, I remember that's the one that went that went with Becky for about like ten minutes. Okay, that's the one that did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. You that's what you that's what you sort of want. Anyway, just giving the flowers. That's all I'm here to say. I do.